I just built this laboratory and I wanna add a working electricity system and a nuclear power plant. Welcome to my laboratory. Yeah, this mountain is supposed to be here. And back there, I'm building a battery. This only works thanks to comparators. So you can charge the battery and then use it as a power source. And that's exactly how this battery works. It's just a lot bigger. This display shows us the current energy level of the battery. So now it's completely full. And if I connected everything right, this door should open now. Let's go. And also, the battery should have lost a bit of energy. Yep, this lamp is flickering, which means it lost a bit of energy. So this works. This button opens or closes the natural lighting and once this is off it's pretty dark in here. So you can also turn on the light with this lever. And as long as the light is on, the battery is slowly losing some energy. It's actually discharging pretty fast. And so we have a power source, I decided to build a nuclear reactor. And there it is. I really like it. And it works by evaporating water. The steam will then turn these turbines and we have energy. Just like a real nuclear power plant. And to make it even more realistic, I'm going to build a water system. So we actually have to fill up the water. And if not, the reactor is gonna explode. No, I've, I don't know. Something's happening. I just don't know what. And after placing some more redstone, here it is. It looks really complicated, but basically there is the water tank and back there is the display for the water tank, so we can see how full it is. And now the only thing left to do is to place water right here. Let's hope I built everything right, else probably something will break. But this looks pretty good. So here's gonna be the control room, just where you can run. The reactor so you don't have to go inside of it while it's active oh maybe i could make the doors close as soon as you activate the reactor but anyway this lever now should activate the reactor let's see if something happens okay it's not working but that's just because as you can see the water tank is empty so we first need some water only then we can activate it. And now as you can see, we have a bit of water. It's not very much, but it should work. And now let's turn this thing on. Oh yes, there we go. The water's coming out, the steam going up. Yep, and the energy is coming out on this side and on the other side over here. Okay, but something's wrong here. Can pistons not push these smokers? I guess so. I thought I would push them. But if we run out of water while the thing is active. Well, actually nothing's happening. But I wanna add something like that some part of the battery blows up or some part of the reactor blows up. Not too much because there's a lot of redstone here. Just something that doesn't matter this much. And yeah, I also have to build some kind of ceiling for this thing. I don't know, maybe I'm also gonna build a cooling tower up here. I guess that could look pretty good. Oh come on, that's like the fifth time that pillagers attack me while building this. And they don't leave, no! He's going in the reactor. Get him! I also need to connect everything with some hallways. Yeah, so I want this hallway to go over here and then connect it to the reactor. If you don't subscribe right now, I'm gonna kill that cat. Okay, just kidding, I would never do that. But please subscribe, I need this. And that's what I came up with, just this little staircase. Then here I wanted to go up again to the other entrance. And from there you can also go to a window right here, so you can kind of watch down. And going up this staircase, you will end up in the main, in the main control room. So here you can start the reactor, see the water level. Just control the thing. The thing is, I like this stair design. These stairs are great. Polished deep slate. I think I also used it in the battery room. Yes, as a floor. 
it looks really like metal or something. But I gotta figure out a different design for down here. Maybe something with andesite. And I guess I could build a lot more things down here. I mean, I mean, there's just so much space down here. I mean, look at this. By the way, that's the steam system. And that's how this turned out. I actually really like it. Kind of try to make a cave looking cave down here. Turned out pretty good. Especially in combination with just red and the red with black and the yellow concrete. And here I just need to put some lava, so it looks a bit more interesting. But what always looks good is just this double door. See? That looks so much better. But maybe I could also make some piston doors here. And by the way, if you want to build something technical, just use deep slate. Look at this, it just immediately looks technical. Same in here. Then I connected everything with some hallways. I really like this section right here. And of course here you can enter the reactor and following this hallway we will end up at the main control room which turned out pretty nice. I added just a random book and quill, there's nothing in here. Then just some signs to explain what the display is for or the lever is for. And also these four lamps each display one double chest. And both of those lamps only display four water buckets each. I should also build the ceiling pretty soon and decide if I'm gonna build a cool tower up there or not. And then going up here, we will end up in, I would say this is the main hub of the lab. Also we need a name for this lab. We can't just call it lab all the time. And what the hell is this? Oh it's my balloon. But you know what that looked like? It kinda looks like a radar dish. And I actually like the thought of that. Maybe just just adding a few radar dishes up here or some or something else like random towers. Just yeah, just like this thing over here. Which has no purpose. I just randomly built this. But it looks pretty nice. So I actually went farming redstone for a bit. And I got a few stacks, so I could connect the reactor to the battery. And as you can see right now, the battery is completely empty. It has no energy. Yeah, you know what I mean. And now I'm actually pretty hyped to see how fast it will charge. So we got enough water, which means we can turn on the reactor. Oh yes, there we go. Okay, let's see, let's see how fast the battery is charging up. I have the feeling that it might be too fast. Excuse me, what? That was a lot faster than expected. Um, no, I think that's not supposed to happen. I must have built something wrong, right? Okay, I was expecting everything, but not this. Let's turn it off for now. So I think I fixed it. It might still not work, but now the battery again has no energy. So let's turn on the reactor once more. And then just run over to the battery. Run, 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 go, 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 go. Run, run, run. <laughs> oh no, okay. I was wrong. It was just charging up so fast. I'm gonna do something about that. Because that's a bit too fast. Don't get me wrong, I want the reactor yeah, to be powerful, but that's just too much. You just saw it. Battery charged up in a few seconds. Oh wait, what? Oh wait, that's weird, <laughs> that's so weird. So I built something wrong, the battery is charging up way too fast. Okay, I guess I fixed it. Now let's try it, hopefully the last time. Again, it's empty. Turn on the reactor. And now that looks a lot better. Now it has a good pace, I think. Might even be a bit too slow, but I'm gonna leave it like this. At least now it works like I want it to work. Turn off the reactor before something explodes. Yeah, I still have to build this actually. It's not gonna take long, I'm just gonna build it in between episodes and then show it to you in the next video, not in the next world tour. I'm planning to do this pretty soon actually. 
I also talked about this in the last video. And yeah, that's where I'm just gonna show like everything, you know, a world tour. And also the cooling tower. I'm not gonna finish it that episode because I'm recording right now and the video is supposed to be uploaded like three hours ago. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta hurry, okay? But I will show it to you when it's finished, which might be in the next world tour. <laughs> 